Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Pila and please do not forget to subscribe and also please do switch on the post notification by clicking on the bell so that you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. I really do appreciate. I know I haven't been I haven't been consistent in terms of my posting it's been all over the place but I promise I'm working on it and from now on you guys are gonna be getting weekly videos without wasting any time let me get straight into the video so today's video is I'm basically sharing how I've been getting the campaigns that I've been working on. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen that I've done a bit of work for different brands on my account. So I'm going to share how that um, started, like how I got to work with them. Because I believe we all want to make money with our social media. So this is information that I wish that was shared or information that I wish I knew like a long time ago because it would have made life very 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 easy for me so the first way to get campaigned guys brands are scouting on social media brands are watching so you can get um, campaigns directly from the brands themselves I've gotten a campaign directly from a brand they DM'd me on Instagram and then we took it from there to make sure you have a business profile on Instagram so that you'll be able to link your email in there and that way you'll be they'll be able to just click on email and then they'll be able to send you an email and say hey we have a so-and-so campaign coming up would you like to be part of it this and this is what we are looking for um, are you interested and then the second way that I've been getting campaigns it's through PR agencies so that different PR agencies in South Africa the first PR agency that I got um, a campaign from is called the salt so um, I will link them down below so that if you'd like to create an account if you don't have an account with them create an account with them fill in your details and they have what do they call these things quizzes they have quizzes i hope i'm pronouncing it right they have like such mini surveys where they'll be asking you about stuff do those do those because by doing your quiz it's actually telling them more about your day-to-day -day, more about yourself so that they'll be able to see and align you to a brand that will actually be in tune with who you are and what you do the second PR agency it's called humans I believe we all know humans guys I almost gave up on humans I was this close to deleting the app because I felt like hi man I've been bidding for campaigns for a long time for years I've been bidding for campaigns and I wasn't getting any campaigns and then I had to go back to my to my profiles and actually check so what and what am I doing wrong? Am I showing myself enough for brand managers to see me? Am I showing my capabilities enough for brand managers to see me? Am I selling myself to, to brand managers or to campaign managers or whatever you call them? right so i made a few adjustments on my profile so that it can align to everything that i'm saying the niches that i said i am part of they need to start showing on my profile and once i did that i then started getting campaigns from humans so that's number two the third one that i know is web fluential i've never gotten any work from web fluential but i do have an account with them and i've heard like different people saying that they've made money via web fluential but i haven't i personally haven't uh, made any money so you can open um, an account or a profile with them and try your luck right and then the other one that i know that i have an account with is called in the hash so with in the hash i also haven't gotten any work but i know people that have gotten work from in the hash um they need a minimum of 5000 instagram followers so those are the four paying ones that i know so there's also nine paying ones so those are the ones that they will send you a product in return for 
for your work, right? So the first one that I know is called Beauty Bulletin. So you can create a profile with them. So whenever they have new products that need to be tested or they have new products that they need to be promoted, they will send you an email and then you can opt in. Once you opt in, then they will just basically look into your profile, um, your social media to see if like you align with what they are looking for. So there's Beauty Bulletin and oh my word, what's the other one? Um, I forgot the other one. I'll just write the name down. That is um, also similar to Beauty Bulletin. They work the same way. Um, I've received stuff from them before. If you are starting up, start with those non-paying ones just to sell yourself, just to show yourself. Because by you taking that non-paying job, someone else will see your content and say, hmm, maybe I like how this person narrates a story when they are when they are doing their videos or I like their shots, I like their cinematic shots or whatever, they might see something they love. And then in that way, you'll be able to do that to work with them. And it's also basically for building your profile. So those are the ways that you can get campaigns. Well, those are the ways that I got campaigns. So what do you need when you are starting? The minute you decide that you want to work with brands, the minute you decide that you want to be an influencer, you need to number one, have a rate card, have a media kit. I didn't have any of those. And I started getting inquiries on my emails and I didn't even know what to do. I was like, give me rate card. What are these people talking about? What is a media kit and all of that? But luckily enough, I had um, friends that are already influencers. So it was easy for me to just call and say, um, Sne, um, please help me with this. So shout out to Sne and um, Mapumi. You guys helped me a lot. Usnem Tembu guys and Umapumi Gunene. They really helped me a lot like i didn't even know like how to price i didn't even know how much i should charge like i didn't know anything and they literally held my hand and you divatanda love if a brand approaches you you need to have a rate card you need to know how much you charge per picture which is a post how much you charge for a story, how much you charge for a reel, how much you charge for a TikTok video, and how much you charge for a YouTube video. You need to know all of that. You also need to have like an invoice template in place. Have your invoice, that will have your banking details. You just go, you change the name of the, the company that you are working with at that time. You change them and, um, and then you invoice them accordingly because them would say, um, okay, now we've finished the work, please send us your invoice. So you need to just have an invoice template in place so that it will be just easier for you to send the invoice whenever. Check the brands that you are using. So next time that they're looking for influencers or they're looking for people to work with, they will definitely have you in mind because they've seen how you create your content and see Uguchi, you will be able to use the brand without having to lie to people. So make sure that on your social media accounts, you sell yourself. Make sure that your social media account shows your capabilities. They're looking for your creativity. Your pages must show your, your, your personality. They must show who you are. If you're targeting clothing brands, make sure that when you're doing your clothing reels, you, do, you, you, you put the necessary hashtags, and you also check on those brands that you are targeting. Check the hashtags that they follow so that you can also use those hashtags. In that way, you will fall within their radar whenever they are looking for influencers or they are looking for people to work with, right? Make sure that your bio is not all over the place. Let your bio also tell more about what is your page all about it's basically an introduction to your page make sure that you are selling yourself even with your bio small small anyana details like that could make a huge difference um focus on what you're good at focus on what you love because if you're doing something that you love you do it effortlessly you don't even have to force yourself to do that right so i believe that i've covered everything that i think is important 
and everything that I've mentioned, every website that I've mentioned, I will link it on the description box down below. I'll do a video um explaining to you guys what needs to be on your media kit and also your raid cards okay guys so this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to give this video a massive thumbs up like this video share it and also if you have any questions please do feel free to ask them on the comment section down below i am available to assist i will share the information that i have if you're not following me on tiktok and also on instagram please kindly do so and i'm also like venturing into posting more shots so please also make sure that you also check out my shorts i will see you guys next week and thank you for watching bye